have seen at least three children had a scar on their body, indicates that the organ had been stolen. And in 1995, it comes to my turn to do it. An armed officer directed us to the far right corner, where I can see a civilian closed man lying on the ground with a single bullet wound to his right chest. My chief surgeon then ordered me, ordered and guided me, extracted the liver and took the kidneys. The man was alive. He tried to resist, resist my scalpel cut, but too weak to avoid my action. There was bleeding. He was still alive, but I didn't feel guilty. In fact, I didn't feel anything but like a full programmed robot doing its task. I thought I was carrying my duty to eliminate them, eliminate the enemy of the state. It was called the slaughter because these people, Uyghurs, Falun Gong, Falun Gong pregnant women, are not even given any form to sign. There is no consent form to write out as a final act, I want to donate my organs to the state. The government in China is doing a terrible thing, which is comparable to what the Nazis did. The military's making money off of it. The hospitals are making money off of it. The middlemen are making money off of it. And we talk about money. We're talking about a multi-million dollar operation. If you are going to China right now to get an organ, chances are a perfectly innocent person is dying for you. After I left China, and my perspective totally changed, then I said, oh my God, I committed a crime.